Well, let's have the clerics join those clerics. And the Hell Knights, um, I suppose they go back to camp. Can we recruit more Hell Knights? No, we can't. Um, I mean, that's a good point, actually. I mean, we still have to we still have to recruit from Canabra. Hmm. Uh, Nicaea says, but Sarah is a pacifist. She must not act violently unless for self-defense. This is what we were talking about earlier, actually, because some some of the guys in chat were saying, "Ooh, Sarah is going to be like breaking her oath of pacifism." You know, I can feel her angry coming out and stuff like that. But I didn't know if that was going to be the case. Right. I think... Ah, oh jeez, that's a, a strength of seven. Ugh. I think we'll deal with this army, and then we'll pull back, because there's no chance we're going to be able to deal with that, I don't think. Not with just having a strength of five in our current army. Right, Brimarax by the looks of it. Yep, Brimarax and a couple of cultists. Okay. Let's go for that one. For those of you who are just joining me, uh, this is like my least favorite part of the game. I am playing it on the easy... On, I am playing... Crusade management on the easiest typically because I just want to get it out of the way. I just want to rush through it and deal with the parts of the game that I actually really enjoy. Um, so let's get rid of him. Lovely. Wait, Dubs, did you just change your name? <laughs> oh, jeez. I had to double take for a second there. I was like, wait, Dubs has always been a lord? <laughs> I suppose it goes with the title now, right? It goes with the land that you now own in Scotland. <laughs> Nicaea says, um, no, Sarah takes her oath of pacifism very seriously, for she knows fate very well. All will be paid in due time. Damn. So the Hell Knights are going to get what's... In Sarah's eyes, the Hell Knights are going to get what's coming to them. The, the, they, you know, the fact that they've been spared on this occasion does not mean that they've, they've gotten away with it. <laughs> no, it's just Twitch acknowledging your title. <laughs> oh, I should have used... Uh, I should have used the magical ability. What a dum-dum. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't actually think that's going to do any damage, is it? Because they have resistance to fire. Let's go ahead and put some... Uh, what is it again? Shield of Faith. Okay, let's put it on the Cleric. Take a shot then. Ah, oh, damn. I was kind of hoping to finish that unit off this round and then bring them around the back to um, help with these guys. Um, okay, let's go with that then. Lovely. I can understand why they put uh, the, the option in the game to just totally get rid of this is an element, you know? Like, putting on auto-manage for the Crusade. I can understand why they did it. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one that kind of... doesn't... How can I phrase this best? I'm sure I'm not the only one that doesn't, like... quite love this as much as, as I'm sure some people do. Like, I am I am here to enjoy the storyline and play a, play a CRPG, you know? But uh, this is more like, you know, Might, uh, Might of Magic, is it? Heroes of Might of Magic? Is that is that the game that's kind of like set out like that? Um, okay, so all units replenished. Lovely. Lynn the Ice Reaper. 
Oh shit, can't change it for 60 days too. Yeah, no, it's like 60 days until you're able to change your name on Twitch again. So for now, for now, you are Lord Dubs 250. <laughs> Maybe it just has to stay that way now. I mean, you are a Lord. After the battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half effaced inscription on a nearby stone. What remained of the engraving led the Crusaders to a secluded cave where they found a stash of miscellaneous relics that some selflessly devoted clerics had managed to rescue from fall in Dresden. They also received, or discovered, sorry, flasks of sanctified oil and boxes of reagents for rituals and sacred masses. It would appear the brave priests hid their sacred, sorry, sacred, their sacred artifacts in one final attempt to save them from the demonic threat. Uh, so 25 materials and free energy points. Lovely! Selby says, I love tactical combat like that, but it looks quite basic. Yeah, like, I think it's because it's very simplified army combat. It's very simplified grand scale combat. You know, if I want to play like a strategic combat game um, on a large scale, then I'll go ahead and play like Total War or something like that. Or Civilization. I love Civilization. I wouldn't really say it's specifically a war game, but um, I enjoy it nonetheless. I think it's good for that. But when it comes down to it, I just... Ugh, it's just not my favorite part of this game. I don't find it too uh, too fun. It kind of drags on a little bit. A bit of a time sink. And Nicaea has now changed her name as well to Nicaea the Lantern Saint. Boy, boy, boy. Simolified. Um, let me see. Lord Dub says, I lodged the paperwork with the government to make my official title change to. That's amazing. Uh, Trouble says, I've just been reading the wiki on Hell Knights, and it says, it says this, Hell Knights provide the need to obey out of fear of a master's stern hand. Doesn't that sound like they are slavers as, as, as well as everything we just saw? Trouble, that, yeah. Yeah, it's, that sounds like indentured servitude, doesn't it? Like, fi you, you only obey orders out of fear of being harmed. Hmm. Dub says I will no longer be a mister. Yeah, you'll be you will be Lord. <laughs> it's crazy. Um so if they get out of line, Flanders <laughs> Flanders needs to lay off that pimp hand down. Just a good old bitch slap. Um Nicaea says can't change it for six months? Six months? Whoa! I thought it was just sixty days. Six months is a long ass time. Um, let's go with, hmm, let's go with Cure Wounds. Oh, they do slavery now? Okay, Sarah, honey, you can break the hero if it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it, like, the Hell Knights, it does, it does sound like indentured servitude, like slavery in a way. I mean, obviously the, the people who are in the Hell Knights sign up for it, I think, as far as I'm aware, but it does sound very much the case of just like a totalitarian order. Um, right. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to tab out for a hot sec, and I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to switch the party. So, some of you at the start of the stream, um, requested, requested that I go ahead and uh, use your characters in the stream, using your, uh, using your channel points. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch the party now to that, to that second group that we came up with. So, group manager. It'll take 12 hours. Continue. Yeah, please. Let's actually move up. We can probably shorten that down. We can probably actually just do it straight away in camp, right? Yeah. Lovely. So, let me clear the pie. Let me tab out and pull up my little document. There we go. Back to the game. So, this round, we have... Where's she at? We have Samira. We have Lynn. Where is Lynn? Lynn the Ice Reaper, who we're going to level up. We have Irel. Oh, Irel, the damage dealer. The damage dealing hero. Um, who is fully leveled up? We have Matrim. Where's Matrim? There he is. And we have Glade the Blade. Where's Glade at? There we go. We'll level her up as well. Okay. So, let's dive into this then. Dubs, thank you. My throat is getting a little bit dry. Abyssal says, Lynn, my baby, I can see her in action. Yes, you're going to see her kick some ass. See her kick some ass. 
Uh, Trillbay, as far as I know, Sarenry only forgives people that genuinely repent. I have a feeling these Hell Knights wouldn't repent, so feel free to go full Doomslayer on them. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. She would only believe in true repentance. She wouldn't forgive someone who's like, I'm sorry, but I'm not really. And that's probably the sort of people that the Hell Knights are. At least, generally speaking. Maybe we shouldn't generalize. Maybe that's not fair, but either way. Okay, so, Lynn the Ice Reaper, level 6. Um, we've got our three points in mobility for the extra AC point. What do we want now? Athletics, maybe? No, no, let's go, let's focus on dupe and dupe. 12 point, uh, plus 12 to both of those. I was thinking about getting a higher perception. Play to our strengths. Perception is. It's always good to have good, good perception in the pie. Especially for your frontliners. Of which Lynn is a frontliner. Uh, one wielder, one mastery. We don't need to worry about that. I actually... So... For those of you who were here for the start of the stream, I leveled up everyone off stream last night. Um, I think that the, the cloud save file just hasn't carried over. So... The people that I leveled up, which was everyone, um, they are now... They now need to be leveled up again. So I, I vaguely remember what I picked for Lynn. I think I went with this one. Or was it Enduring Blade? The Mages can expend one point from his Arcane Pool, her Arcane Pool, as a swift action. Um, ooh, thanks, Dubs. Ooh, and Stretch as well. Oh, boy. Let me just, let me just... That's a good stretch. That was satisfactory. Um, Trollbay says, I had a problem with my cloud saves for Pathfinder as well. Yeah, they. this has happened once before where I don't think it is, It's. Not, I don't think it's my mistake. I don't think it's that I'm not, and I mean, believe me, I'm, whenever there's a mistake, I normally am first to blame myself <laughs> and just say that I'm a dumbass. But this has happened before. Let me take my jacket off because it's getting quite warm in the room now that I've got the heating on. Um, it's happened before where... I've saved the game, I've came out of it, I've came on the next stream, and my save file seems to be missing, or at least the most recent one. So, I think it might be an issue with the sa with the cloud saves. Um, let me go ahead and take a sippy sip. Exactly, Trilby. So, Sarah, feel free to um, bludgeon them. Dub says, Saren raise a hoe. Wow, Dubs, that's fighting talk. Uh, enduring, enduring blade is looking good. Yeah, an extra, an extra um, additional point for the arcane pool. Let's go with that. At least you haven't lost all of your characters yet. <laughs> I really pray that that doesn't happen. Uh, Dub says, "Woo, keep going." Hot tub Flanders ASMR stream. No way, no way. Flanders will be keeping the rest of his clothing on. Luckily for you all. Um, right. I've been trying to focus on, like, on, on, f well, frost-based spells. I believe the ones that I went with were, I think I went with Raven Feebleman. I think I went Raven Feebleman. And, which was the other one I picked? Maybe Mirror Image? I think it was mirror image. So, let's go with those. Raven Feeblement, mirror image. Just until we get some more frost based spells, eh? Like, what do you think, Abyssal? Abyssal says Sha. Um, just until we get some more frost based spells, because I kind of wanted to, I wanted to have a focus on, on frost based spells, but there just isn't a great deal of them <laughs> to pick from. But Ray of Enfeeblement is basically, like, it's going to soften... So, Ray of Enfeeblement's going to soften up a target while she's running towards them with the scythe. She can get a slice off at them. If she gets surrounded, we can cast Mirror Image to, um, kind you know, try and detract from the amount of hits we're going to take. Um, but yeah. Let me see. Glade. Only needs one leveling up. I thought, I thought she was a little bit further behind. So, Perception, Fantastiche. Uh, knowledge of the World... And we might go athletics, you know. 
One point in athletics. Five in stealth. Let's go with that. Two weapon combat. Improve two weapon fighting, of course. Uh, so a sixth level demon slayer. Tiefling demon slayer. Let me just go ahead and actually take a quick look at... I think I kitted her out, didn't I? Yeah. So she has pretty good weapons. Or at least reasonable weapons. I think we do need to imp improve everyone's weapons at this point. Um, long sword of right. Hmm. We can probably put that on uh, on Seabass. Come to think of it. Other spell I know of that could deal cold damage is Frigid Touch. Yeah, she automatically unlocked Frigid Touch. So she has that now as well. So that's going to be great. Uh, mythic level for Glade too. Yeah, mythic level for Glade and Lynn. So let's delve into that, shall we? Let's see what we can get up to here. So this is for Glade. And going off like the backstory that that um, that General sort of spoke about in the Discord for Glade, I kind of like the idea of be of her stacking more and more damage every time she like attacks. So unrelenting assault. Uh, I think this is the right one. As long as you keep fighting, the power of your melee attacks keeps growing. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking plus two bonus for damage rolls with melee weapons. So give that to someone who has, who is using two, uh, two weapons. That's an extra, potentially an extra four damage per, per round, or per attack, sorry. No, no, sorry. Extra two damage per attack but because she's using two weapons, extra four damage. Um, and it'll stack up to, well, on one weapon it'll stack up to plus 10, so times two, plus ex 20, 20 extra damage around if she makes an attack in a round. So I think we're gonna go with Unrelenting Assault. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that will help. Um, and then we've got the Mythic level four. Oh, oopsie daisy. For Lynn. Abyssal, what do you think? We could we could improve her use of magic, but at the same time. I think her main focus is gonna be the scythe, right? Like the, the, the magic is a an, an, an added bonus. Oh, have we actually managed to Yep, we did. We opened we somehow that's weird. We're opening up the inventory in the background. Fair enough. Um but yeah, I think I think main focus for Lin is to be like a, a big melee de a damage dealer. Um, the spells are a nice added bonus that we can you know use to stack damage. But otherwise, I think I think maybe deal with uh, just focus on like being a melee damager. Inspirational leader might be cool. Let's see. So your allies within fifty feet of you gain a bonus bonus to equal ha equal to half your mythic rank plus one to their initiative and saving throws against minor affecting effect. Ooh. What do you think? What do you think, Abyssal? That could be pretty good. The idea, because like the way I see it, if it was a tabletop game and you were describing how, like, what other people see, I would say like, oh, so, so like the rest of the party see um, as she, uh, you know, as a result of the inspirational leader feat or, or ability, I should say, um, that is when like her, her icy entity, like the icy avatar sort of uh, appears like at her back. And, uh, and that inspires her comrades to, you know, fight on and fight quicker. That's what we threw on Trav too. It's baller. Yeah, yeah. It is. It does seem useful for, for well, I wouldn't want to put it on everyone in the party, obviously, but, like, it seems useful in certain situations. Sure, why not? Her father is the victory singer, and her mother is a winter goddess. So, inspirational leader, of course. Um, I don't think... I mean, we could always stack damage, but then again, we don't really want to just use the same thing on everyone, do we? Uh, thundering blows. Um, yeah, we'll go with inspirational leader. Okay, let's do it. And we're ready to go, but we should probably go ahead and, um... We should probably go ahead and have a rest. And then we'll clear out, we'll clear a path up to Chili Creek, I think. Also, more saves for fear effects for the party is always, wel uh, for always welcome. That's a very good point. It's a very good point. Uh, I need to remember to come back here at some point with Sela to do that. Do we have a tank in this party? I mean, Samir is pretty tanky. Let me take a look at Lin's AC, actually. Lin's got an AC of 19. Samira is 16. However, yeah, that's weird. She's got a pretty low AC, but she doesn't seem to get hit very often. 
Um, 19 for Lin. 19 for Irel as well, actually. 17 for Matrim. 18 for Glade. Breastplate plus one. Yeah, we have a spare breastplate. Hmm. Who can we put this breastplate on? Oh, so Len has a breastplate plus two. Um, Dub says, "Ooh, an eternal icy halo or wreath like this, like Caesar's would uh, Caesar would wear, to, would make her look dope as fuck." Oh shit! Flanders is always the tank. Yeah, Flanders the, is the tank of disappointment, right? We send him in, he dies immediately. He's the tank of disappointment. Um, right. Ring of Protection. Oh, actually, you know what? I wonder if we put this on Lin. 21 AC. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love Betty chiming in every now and again with just like a, yep, yep, your point about Flanders not being so great. It's 100% true. I support this. At least I think that's what you were saying, right, Betty? I think you were agreeing with the whole thing of like me not being a, a good tank in any capacity the tank of disappointment he's the tank half empty that is a brilliant way of putting it dubs oh my god that's yeah i'm the half i'm the tank of half empty um lynn is the lynn is the is the actual tank i am the tank of half empty or the tank running on half empty do i want so that's for charisma which has bumped my charisma beautifully betty says dubs um inspired wisdom Hmm, who do I want to put this on? Who do I want to put this on? Maybe Glade. Glade, would you like a would you like a helmet? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like a tiara, not a helmet. Uh, what do we think, guys? If Kensei was here, would she approve? If the general was here, would she approve? I mean. Maybe leave it on for now. Well, Lynn's about to tank and deal damage. Yeah, I know, right? Like, we've we've upped her AC to 21. Um, she has a plus 10 to attack, and she does between 8 and 14 damage per round. Oh, sorry, per attack. With that being said, Glade is going to be a pretty sick damage dealer, I think. Especially with uh, the whole, you know, every every time she makes an attack, she gets a bonus 2 to, uh, to attack. What's on Glade's head? We, there's this, there's this like helm. It says it's a helmet. It looks more like a crown or a tiara, but it, it adds to her wisdom. And I figured since like she's like one of the few people in the party, or like one of the only people in the current party, that has some basis on wisdom, I figured we might as well put it on her and improve it. Um, I mean it's almost a mask. Oh, what this? This is almost a mask. I mean almost. <laughs> It's only missing, like, the face portion, right? <laughs> we'll go with that, then. Um, let me see. Right, okay. So, is there anything I can do to good old Flanders? It's a forehead mask. That's a beautiful way of putting it. It is indeed a forehead mask. Um, is there anything I can do to make Flanders not so shit? <laughs> Because I'll be honest, I am getting to the point where I am like, hmm, maybe I should respec. <laughs> so it's not just a, a it's, so it's not just a full gameplay of like a full playthrough of, hmm, you guys have made really great characters. Why didn't I make a great character? <laughs> Betty says nope. There's no way we can improve. <laughs> Let him live. <laughs> I am letting him live. It's just his life at the minute is like kind of meaningless. He's supposed to be this great hero of the crusade. Of the seventh crusade? Is that right? Is it the seventh or is it the fifth? I forget. Uh, no, no. Let Flanders stay Flanders. Oh boy. Put him in a bubble. Can we just like... I feel like Flanders' main goal. I've said this in the past. I've said this. Flanders' main goal has been so far in the, play the playthrough. Hashtag protect Ember. Like, every time we have a conversation with Ember, I'm immediately just like, oh, she's so innocent. She's so sweet. We need to protect her and keep her safe. But I think I have that permission. But everyone else in the entire army 
has like they must have secret meetings where they all get together and they're like oh don't worry flanders is in the bush pooping gold again we can have this meeting listen here's the mission goal for the crusade protect flanders <laughs> because he can't protect himself <laughs> um bubble wrap him it'll all be good so he does have a meaning. He shits gold so you can recruit more interesting people. Give him an endless IV drip of healing potions. Dubs, you're going to be giving people in chat ideas of how to, like, fuck with their DM. If, if, listen, if I, if I'm, if I'm, next time I'm hosting a game, if one of my players says, oh, I know I'm really injured, but can I try and fashion an IV drip of healing potions? I'm going to be kind of pissed. Because that's the sort of bullshit that I know my uh, my players would get away with somehow. Um, yep, bet he's noted it. My God, uh, we can't trust him with his own safety. Yeah, I love that. I love the idea of like I'm just this. I'm this really dumb simpleton, like very charismatic simpleton, who he's able to calm people down. He's able to inspire people, but he's a bit he's a bit of an idiot, and he's not great in combat. He should probably really stay out of combat. Oh, boy. If you need help fucking your DM, I'm your guy. Yeah, I'm assuming that FaZe had to deal with all sorts of bullshittery over the years. Um, let me see. Josh says, Abyssal, have you considered a dip into, wi into the wizard subclass that lets you make all of your spells one energy type? That's a- Josh, that's a, such a good idea, actually. So you would be able to make all of the spells frost spells. It would hurt your... Yeah, it would hurt a little. Um, but you love, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you would be a level behind in mages, but you would be able to convert all of your spells to frost damage. Josh, we appreciate it, mate. We appreciate it. Thanks for the good play. Or the good idea, I should say. Um, Nicaea says, A very charismatic simpleton who also shits gold. I'm basically like the golden goose, aren't I? From that, from that. Which is the golden goose in? Is it Jack and the, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk? I think it is, right? I'm basically the golden goose. Um, Abyssal says, what's the subclass? Um, which is, which, yeah, Josh, which, which is the subclass that allows you to do that? Because I think we, me and you have spoken about this on stream before, like a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Um, it's definitely came up at some point. Um, let me see. Something like Elementalist. Can I look into it now? No, I can't. Either way. I, yeah, I, I gotta get through this. Unfortunate. I thought I might be able to just pull up the inventory screen and have a look at the character classes. Maybe not. Um, come on, Goosey, shit gold for us. Come on, Flansy, shit some gold. He's doing it. Shh, give him his privacy. He needs that, his little privacy bush. I love the idea that there's like, there is a specific bush in camp that I keep returning to, and there actually is. I've been, I've been returning to that bush every time I, uh, every time I do the bit. And there's a little bush in camp that probably has some scraps of gold in it from, from bits that I haven't cleaned up. Elemental specialist? I would assume so. Going off the top of my head, I would say that, it, yeah, it probably is elemental specialist. I don't know when my neck's gonna ding. I'll check that out after after we finish this. I don't feel we can be too far off gaining another level because I feel like we've been level six for a while now. Or maybe I've just not done enough quest lines to um to get to that point. Um, I thought it was Elemental Bloodlines, says Trillbait, uh, that let you set all spells to a certain damage type. Is it maybe a shared feature of both, uh, across both Elemental Specialist, but Elemental Bloodlines as well? If any of you guys know in chat, if any of you guys know what the hell we're talking about, um, or have some good insight, please let me know. At the same time, if any of you have easy access to the wiki, or some form of knowledge, knowledge base for the game, Please let me know. Or please let Abyssal know. Okay. Boom. There he is. Good old Cappy. The good old tank dwarf. Uh, the Crusaders duly punished a group of mercenaries who had become enticed by demonic gold and turned their blades against their former allies. 
Those who reject the blessing of the benevolent gods and succumb to the temptation of sin deserve death, and death they got. Justice has been served, and the clerics feel that the gods are satisfied with this outcome. Okay, five energy points. Lovely. Um, Lord Dubs says, I was given a genie and received... I'm, Dubs, I'm going to keep calling you Lord Dubs. Eh? I can't help it. I was given a genie and received free wishes and ended up with endless spell slots like they didn't use up for myself and the wizard. We ended up being able to see the weave of magic and he tried to fuck us so we went into the astral the astral sea and because we couldn't see the weave, found a colour pool that did time dilation, built a hyperbolic time chamber and spent six weeks in game time which equaled 60 years in the chamber to train our new ab What the fuck? How? <laughs> I have to respect Faye for being able to deal with that because like if that idea got floated by me as a DM I would have to take a session like I would have to take a break in the like in between sessions to be able to actually come up with how that would possibly work and plan for it. <laughs> oh no movement points left. Oh shit. Well what are we gonna do now boys? What are we gonna do? Let's see. Let's go exploring with the Hill Knights. Oh, wait, actually, no, we need. We should probably recruit some more. All we've got is. This unit will. Uh, in this slot will not be re refreshed until the next week. So there's no, so we can't get anything then. Um, oh, and a full set of tomes and manuals to increase stats that didn't lose their charge after they'd been read. Fuck. <laughs> It wasn't Faye, it was our friend Terry. God damn it, Terry. God damn it. Terry, you you lined yourself up for that. Was it uh was it was it um Terry Cruz? P -p 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 power <laughs> He enabled you guys to have the p -p 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 power <laughs> He uh banned genies after that. I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> Sounds like an absolute nightmare. Um, okay, that's a Nenio quest line. I'm going to put that on the back burner. I am worried that I'm going to miss out on companion quest lines from not having them in the party. Like, I obviously am going to. I'm going to I'm gonna have to take some time at some point to come and, like, visit all these locations with the companions. Do you want to enter this location? Leper's Smile? I didn't see this on the map. I mean... No, I want to rest first. I need to rest. Camp. Boom. Moss Pottage. <laughs> oh, it's only a plus 10 to DC. Oh, fuck. We might not get... We might not get the Moss Pottage. I really want the Moss Pottage. It's so good. Now, apparently, it's a guy... It's a guy's favorite dish, and we haven't even met him yet. But we know it's his favorite dish. Um... Dub says, I spent a week wording the wish so perfectly he wouldn't be able to fuck us. <laughs> so he was shook when he read it out, or when you read it out, sorry. Uh, Josh says, I would recommend a hard save before Leper's Smile in case you aren't happy with the outcome. Josh, appreciate it. Thanks very much, mate. I will go ahead and do a hard save once I've, um, once I've taken a rest. Fuck. I'm assuming that we're coming up on some pretty, uh, some pretty big story stuff then, yeah? That's certainly what it sounds like from that. Let me see. Okay. So the impact of corruption has been weakened. As well as that, the chance of attack on camp is lowered. You know, I don't think I've actually ever had so f I haven't actually, this far in the game, I haven't had an attack on camp. No surprise attack so far. I don't know if the chance of them happening is just low or if I'm just doing well with camouflage. Um, we did achieve our Moss Pottage. Hey, hey, so plus three, is it? I think it's plus three on all ability checks for today. Then again, we're going to be... Oh, that actually might... If this is an important section of the game, then uh, let's go ahead and call this um, Flanders... Flanders made the leper do a cheeky smile. Like that. There we go. That's a hard save. Flanders made the leper do a cheeky smile. Okay, so, um, that is our hard save. I think we're good to go. 
We have a plus three on all ability. What is happening here? Corruption? I thought we managed to stem the flow of corruption. Oh, 15% arcane spell failure chance. Minus two to wisdom and intelligence scores. And Can we, can we go back to camp and get rid of that and then come, I think we can do that, right? We'll go to camp, we'll pray at one of the altars, I think that gets rid of it. And then we'll head back there. You can, you can get absolutely overtuned random encounters and ambushes in chapter two, so count yourself lucky. Yeah, I have not experienced a single one yet, so good to hear that, 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 that is the case, but I just haven't came across that. Uh, mind you, we also summoned a pyramid from a bag of, of beans took out the mummy lords and used their treasure to turn the colony of kobolds we summoned in it into an industrial revolution port town that ended up taking up more space and trade than port nyanzaru in schult and built a flying pirate ship in like four dubs you are <laughs> my god <laughs> what <laughs> some people are content to dungeon delve in dnd dubs and his friends they're starting the mo fucking industrial revolution for kobolds. <laughs> That's like the best thing I've heard all day. Industrial revolution port town for kobolds? What was it called? What was the name of the town? There's this fucking mysterious elf again. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there were lots of wounded in Canabras. Who wounded him? In what way? And Evia appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam attentively, and her hands, as if by coincidence, are resting on her belt next to her weapon. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, mysterious elf, how should I know? It must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt he has fully recovered from it. Maybe you could point me towards a healer. I could. The woman wrapped in rags all the way up to her eyes, turns it round at the sound of your footsteps. Damn it. Is this Kay Lesser? This could be Kay Lesser, right? Oh! In a lightning fast motion, Anevia knocks something from the woman's hands. An amulet that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. It falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay a while. The commander and me, we've got a couple of questions for you too. Uh, Anevia, who is this with you? Address the elf. You won't escape this time. Who are you? Yeah, you won't escape this time, bitch. Who are you and why are you hiding your face? You hear a heavy si Oh, okay. Sorry, did I get too excited again? You hear a heavy sigh coming from under the shawl. <sighs> Fine, you've got me. We'll talk, but not here. Lead me somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh? She's all yours, Commander. I caught her, I handed her over. And now, as they say, I wash my hands of this whole affair. Okay, um, let me see. Also, we improvised nukes using barrels of flour by catapulting them, exploding them so they'd atomize and then hit it with a firebolt. I have had my players. Oh my God. If Betty's still in chat, she can probably remember this better than me. Somehow my players were able to improvise flour they took sacks of flour and they used it to improvise explosive arrows that had like i don't even remember how much damage they did they did a lot of damage it shouldn't have been allowed but they got a natural 20 on the construction check yeah the fucking flower arrows oh my god that fucked up that encounter so bad like a group of a group of orcish worshippers of like uh, my my homebrew god of, uh, or demon lord of storms and, and war and stuff like that. And, uh, there was like six or seven of them. I think there were only like three or four people, uh, three or four players. There were like six, seven, eight, something like that, orcs. One arrow took out like four of them, I think. Ugh. <laughs> Bad times. <laughs> what do you want from me, soldier? It is Kalesa because she calls me soldier. Nenio calls me boy. Kalesa calls me soldier. Uh, mind you, in phase game, we kept asking for land from every town. We'd save and then set up a chain of brothels. My God. I mean, gentlemen's clubs called the fuck up. We went through city planning meetings. I did architectural blueprints, layouts, everything. We took down a caravan and sold all the artwork to the Zentarim for 65k gold at level six. <laughs> 
That's big brain thinking. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, my characters, my players come to me with great ideas all the time. When we actually play. But they, they've they never came to me with an idea that, that would unbalance the economy of the game so much that I basically couldn't provide them with things to spend their money on anymore. Like, that's the same like, at level 6, 65,000 gold at level 6, just in one go, seems like the sort of thing where it's like, well, I think I can retire now. <laughs> um... In an exasperated gesture, she rips the half-mask off her face and you see her black skin and crimson eyes. It's Kay Lesser, the elf you met in Canabras. Fucking knew it. Um, why did you follow my army? To find someone. Kay Lesser lets out a resigned huff. His masters want me dead, which means I will die sooner or later. After a pause, she narrows her eyes and spits out. But that doesn't mean I'll lie down and accept my fate. I am no lamb to the slaughter and I won't be waiting for a kindly executioner to come, come, come for me knife in hand never again. Okay. Are you a spy? Her scarlet eyes flash defiantly and she mutters through her teeth. I'm not going to hide it. I've came here, I've come here to commit a violent and bloody act, but I do not serve the demons, and I won't do you or your forces any harm. Well, don't play coy. I need details. Why? Frowning skeptically, she gives you an appraising look. And what will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill me if you deem me a reprobate? Help the poor girl if you don't? Well, I haven't asked for your help, and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. Ah, perception check. She's clearly lying to you, but it doesn't feel like the guile of someone plotting a crime. There's a slight hounded look to her eyes that makes her seem more like prey than hunter. I'll leave you be then. She shrugs casually, as if her fate had not been hanging in the balance just a moment ago. How nice of you, soldier. I I'm not full of myself, like, I don't really need her to address me as the commander of the crusade, but it's just like, soldier, seems weird. I've met other elves that look like you. They serve the demons. And Amora's minions? The words escape her lips before she's able to stop them. Then she looks at you with visible irritation. One of Daskari's servants is a powerful elf by the name of Anamora, and those corrupted elves are her lackeys. Don't ask me how I know this or why my appearance is similar to theirs. I'm not your enemy, but if you see them, kill them without remorse. Well, apparently I know who you are. You are, and you are a K you are K Lesser, and you're a cultist of the Iscari, according to according to um, what was his name? We called him Fa. His name was uh, Fawn Autumn Hayes, also known as Fa. So Fa told us that you're K Lesser, a cultist of Discari. That's a lie. Her crimson eyes flash, and she says firmly, "I loathe demons, and I'll kill any I come across." Fifteen from Glade. So we only need to roll a one, and we still get it. Beautiful. Take a closer look at the elf. She's clearly holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying either. Whatever it is she's hiving, uh, hiving? Whatever it is she's hiding, her claim that she hates demons sounds pretty convincing. You're not lying, but you're not telling the whole truth. What, was I supposed to pull my heart out? She looks at you defiantly. You have your war soldier, and I have mine. You're fighting chaos and madness, and I? Well, I'm fighting lies and hypocrisy. But we're both willing to die for our cause, aren't we? Why would Fawn slander you? Why would Fa slander you? What? Who's Fa? Oh, that's what I call Fawn. Um, Kaelas's grim expression hardens further, as bleak and unflinching as the words on a tombstone. You're asking questions that are dangerous in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chances that, that a traitor's dagger will find its way into your back. Well, I believe you. Fa is in the camp. Watch out for him. With a crooked smirk, Kay Lesser says grimly, He's the one who should watch out for me. Ooh, fuck! Things are getting complicated. Um, we kind of leveled a town as well, and that became its own haven for monstrous races and had a sentient Trex in a top hat named Ichabold. <laughs> I summoned five goblins with a whistle and it escalated quickly once they raised the magic shop. They may have sacked and destroyed Baldur's Gate. Oh my god. Poor Baldur's Gate. Poor Baldur's Gate. Yeah, it's a lot, but we didn't retire. We bought gear and weapons and grenades of many things. Uh, we quickly became notorious and uh, possibly war criminals. Oh my god. But we saved the land, so all charges dropped. 
Plus, they couldn't prove anything. I ended up being our party's most powerful character, and I, a character, and I was a bard. He had an AC of 25 and wasn't wearing any armor whatsoever by the end. Fuck. That sounds like a pretty great build. With an AC of 25 and a bard with no armor. I'm assuming magical items helped in, in a large way there. Maybe I'm wrong. Right, are we good to, uh, are we good to head back out? I think we've got rid of, um, yeah, we have, right? We've gotten rid of, like, all of the, all of the bad vibes, man. We've gotten rid of, like, um, God, I'm a dumbass. Uh, we've gotten rid of all of the debuffs. Magic items and tattoos. We all had true sight. Yeah, tattoos are, are one of these things that, like, I've mentioned to my players, um, I know that, like, I think Betty and one of my other players has definitely... Thank you very much, Dubs. I know that Betty and one of my other players has definitely thought about buying magic tattoos. They just don't have the... At the level they're at currently and the amount of gold that they have, it's just not really uh, feasible. <clears throat> Although, with that being said, I'm pretty sure they were, they're at the same level. If I remember correctly, they're at the same level that you guys... Or almost at the same level as you guys were at when you got 65,000 gold for bullshittery. <laughs> um, right, Leper's smile it is. So let me go ahead and not go in here straight away. Let's save over the hard save, which is Flanders made the Leper do a cheeky smile. Let's save over that. Rewrite existing save, lovely. And now we will go into the Leper's smile. Oh shit, I love these. I love these so much. Okay. Day 28. Month. Rover. Year. 4715. Danger and distress rest heavy upon the scales, their measure soaring on the perilous march to Dresden. The army moves steadily along the bank of the West Salon, scarred with canyons and ravines. Suddenly, a group of scouts returns. And Nevia, the leader of the group, makes two urgent signs to the soldiers. Wait and quiet. I'm assuming that's what the, what, what the signs are. Might be wrong. We're in trouble, she whispers. She dashes through the ranks of the commander who awaits her report. The road ahead. Is she still whispering or not? The road ahead is split by a canyon. To get to Dresden, we'll have to go down and then up the other side. Swarming with foul creatures. Vescavores. Or Vescavers. I don't know how to pronounce it. Flanders, do you know how to pronounce it? Probably not right. A real pain in the neck. They won't shy away from our soldiers' weapons. And they've already managed to gobble someone up. Looked like a caravan of refugees from Canabra that lost its way. I'm, I'm going to stop whispering now. No one has ever reported the scavers so far from the center of the world. Where did they come from? Because, like, now I'm just getting the image of a Nevia whispering into my ear. Oh my god. Uh, a Nevia bites her lip. They still haven't noticed us. But that won't hold true for long. Maybe if we retreat quietly. The commander makes a sign for it to stop. You know what? This, no. Those of you in chat who know stuff about the game that I obviously don't, is doing this going to lock me out from companion interactions in camp that I should have done at this point? Like, should I be, should I be speaking with folks in camp? Because I haven't really taken the time to, um, to do that. The scavers are actually pronounced as Geordies? <laughs> My god. Why I, man? <laughs> yeah, all those folks from Newcastle that just devour everything in their sight. No, it's not, it's not the end of the chapter. Yeah, no, I, I, di I didn't think it was the end of the chapter. It's just like, is, th is there the possibility that it might lock me out from from certain content in, in camp. It feels like an important moment. That's why I ask. Um, whispering in your ear as a ball of wax slowly rolls out 
Onto her tongue. Oh, ho, ho. Dubs, that's nasty. Oh, God. Uh, find out what else is known about the enemy. Convene a council to determine a plan of action. Well, I want to know everything before I convene a council. I don't want to like, I don't want to be like, council, assemble. And then be like, okay, so what do we know about the enemy? Um, find out what else is known about the enemy. Those nasty little critters, they can ruin your gear and drive you nuts with their buzzing. And Evia says in a rush, they've got a queen, the mother of the whole swarm. She's a right horror, but if we kill her, the bulk of the swarm will scatter and we'll take care of the rest of them somehow. After hearing his scout's report, the commander prepares to convene a council to determine a plan of action. Uh, I don't think it does, but I don't know for certain. We'll go with it. We'll go with it either way. We'll continue onwards. Like I've said, I'm probably going to have to replay this at some point in the future. God knows how far in the future that will be, but I'll probably play it at some point in the future, whether it's on stream or off stream. Maybe off stream. Uh, just so I can play through the, the next sets of DLC that come out. The commander and his companions convene a field council. The army cannot march around the obstacle, for there is no other road. Retreat is far too risky. Should the swarm notice the army and catch it out in the open, no one would survive. None utters the word trap, but fear hangs in the air. A swarm of omnivorous beasts just happens to be in the army's path. Someone has arranged this for their own nefarious ends. Oh, shit. Okay. Rustling, grating, squeaking, humming, everyone hears the voice of the swarm. But the sky before the army remains clear for now. How long until it is darkened by the flying spawn of the abyss? An idea, a decision straight and sharp like a soldier's sword, appears in their minds. The Crusader Council grows grim. One unit must act as live bait to lure the swarm out of the canyon and clear the path to the Viscava Queen. The commander will rush the monster, killing her quickly, before the swarm decimates the army. They will get but one chance. Oh, fuck. Wait, could I lose a companion here? A dark question looms. Who will lead the fateful squad and be consumed as bait? Oh, fuck, I could. In moments of extreme stress, one often says one thing while meaning quite another. These words often reveal many a curious thing. And what do we see here? Irabeth nobly states, I am an officer, best suited for the mission. But in truth, she means I cannot burden another with my responsibility. Flanders, send me. Nura. Oh, yeah, she's like one of the people the queen brought along. For the ride, Nero the, Nero the historian emerges with an unexpected suggestion from behind the commander's back. This is just the sort of situation where ingenuity and knowledge of the enemy will be more useful than swords and armor. While she speaks, she thinks, I need to prove myself. The queen has yet to disclose her presence and watches quietly from a distance. The commander thinks that he should. Oh boy, let's look into the faces of our companions. Use the hell knight, says Abyssal. I don't know if that's an option. So can you use the Hell Knights as bait? This is the thing. We've got the Hell Knights. Can we use them? Oh, Regil! We can actually send Regil in. But do we want them to... Oh, my God. The, the, the real question, though, was Flanders shitting gold in a bush while she whispered all this to you? <laughs> Just like... <clears throat> straining while she whispers to me about, like, all the intel. Uh, use the Hell Knights, use Regal. Everyone's saying that everyone, everyone's wanting me to use Regal. Um, let me, let me, let me have a look. The Hell Knight Regal steps forward. My people will fight to the last, even as the swarm tears through our armor and strips the flesh from our bones. But his motives are plain. My superiority over the Crusaders will not permit me to cower behind them. Ah, so it's a pride thing for Regal. Um... I've eaten so many bugs in my life, it's only fair to give them a chance at revenge. The mongrel Lan hides his fear in plain sight. I'm a dead man walking already. A life such as mine is worthless. And silently he begs for more. Sacrifice me, or give me a chance to prove myself. The ones who distract the swarm will need a healer. Sociel, the only one who speaks plainly. A healer might bring a few through the Viscavas alive. The rest of the council remains silent, and this presence, this silence, sorry, is filled by a chorus of, there are others better suited, and the commander needs me alive. Does the commander hear these unspoken words? What will they lead him to decide? The faithful troop will be led by... Fuck. 
Right. Here's my question, though. If I send Regal, does that mean I'm sending Regal with my soldiers? In which case, he will he will allow like my Crusaders to die very easily, very very easily. He won't care. He will sacrifice them to achieve his goals, and for, you know to save his own life. Or is it Regal going with the Hell Knights? Oh, he said my people. Oh yeah, no, he does actually say that Look right there. My people will fight. Right, get your votes in chat, guys, because I'm kind of torn here. Part of me thinks that... Part of me thinks that Nera had a, like, must have had a good plan. I think it's between Nera and Regal. I don't want to send Lan, Sosiel, or Irabeth. Do you want to know which is literally the best outcome? Like, what do you mean by literally the best? Free, so regal or social? Says Dr Josh. Do you mean best outcome as in in terms of regal must go, says Dubs. Get your votes in, guys. I'm going to leave it up to chat. In fact, actually, I can go ahead and start a poll, can't I? Potentially. Because this seems like a pretty big moment. <laughs> or can I? Let's do it. Boom. Who deals with the discovers? So, we have a choice of Irabeth. We have a choice of Nura. Regal, Lan, or Social. Okay. Boom. There you go, guys. There you go. If everyone wants to jump in on that poll, let me know what's happening. I saw Trailbay said something about I'll keep it to myself. Oh boy, oh boy. Spicy. We're leaving it up to chance. We're leaving, we're leaving it for the gods of Twitch to decide, right? Decisions here will affect army morale and troop unit losses. Well, chat, let me know what you think. Get your votes in now. Let me see. So far, we have... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's flip-flopping. We have... We have ooh, it's a 50-50 tie between Regal and Social. A 40-40 tie between Regal and Social. 20% voting for Irabeth. Come on, guys. Who's going to win here? Oh, my God. Regal's just took the lead. Regal's just took the lead, and we have half of the time left. Okay. Four votes for Regal. Oh, my God. Come on. Is it going to be Regal, or could Social... Oh, my God. Irabeth's numbers are rising. People are voting for Irabeth. Guys, is it going to be Regal? Is it going to be Irabeth? Social seems to be falling into the bottom of the pile. Regal or Irabeth? I think we might have our answer. Oh no, no, I thought we had an answer and now we've got a split and split between Irabeth and Regal. Oh my god, I don't want to lose Irabeth. I don't want to lose Irabeth. Is it going to be Regal? Is it going to be Irabeth? Social has fallen into the abyss. Social is not a contender anymore. We have a 40-40 split between Irabeth and Regal and time is very quickly leaving us. I think we have like like 10 seconds left, if even that. Guys, if you haven't voted, get your vote in now. It's a tie as it stands right now. Am I going to have to pick between Irabeth and Regal? I think it is going to be my vote that wins the tie. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Oh boy. Irabeth or Regal, eh? Irabeth or Regal. I'm not going to lose Irabeth. We're doing it, guys. Regal, you take your Hell Knights. You, uh, you see if you can survive this. You'll have some of my respect if you do manage to pull this off. There we go. If you care so much of Irabeth, then send Regal. Yep, Regal. Oh, Selby didn't get to vote. Oh, no! 
Selby, who would you have voted for? Selby, who would you have voted for? The commander and his party disappear among the rocks, preparing to slip down into the canyon while the swarm is distracted by their bait, Regal and the Hell Knights. A tight-lipped Anevia shows the way. Behind them, the final preparations are being made. Allow that swarm. Allow that swarm before striking. Oh, what? Allow the swarm to attack a few victims, then strike? <laughs> Let me just get through it first, and then I'll see what the actually context of that is. People keep messaging me about work shit. I don't know. I haven't been paying enough debt. <laughs> Oh my god. That idea of like, oh my god, I wanted to vote. I don't know what we're voting for, but I wanted to vote. <laughs> oh my god. Um, the face of Paralyptal Regal is hidden by his helmet, as are the faces of his troops, but Hell Knights can radiate disdain even through plate armor. They march forward boldly, holding torches and vials of acid in place of blades. Oh? Torches and vials of acid instead of blades? I suppose blades would be pretty useless against little bugs, right? The soldiers tread fearfully down the road towards the dark edge of the canyon ahead. The rift that yawns open before them whispers, rasps, rattles in thousands upon thousands of voices. The scavers gather below, but the sky is open above them, and the flying creatures might rise up and attack at any moment. The soldiers soon find the first body. The mangled corpse of a refugee from Canabra. A few struggling viscavas wriggle inside the dead man's gaping chest. Tiny lava, oh god, tiny lava in greenish shells, all shuffling, shuffling legs and hinging jaws. They don't seem menacing at all, yeah, but disgusting. Ugh. But then the rasping noise stops for a moment, and a high vibrating note pierces the air with a new force. A blur of blackish green clap. A blur of a blackish green cloud rises above the canyon. The swarm has taken the bait. The time to act has come. The leader of his fateful squad shouts that they shall. Allow the swarm to send to attack a few victims, then strike. Wait, this is Regal. This isn't me. This is Regal that's speaking, right? I feel like Regal would say, allow the swarm to attack a few victims, then strike. Fight to the bitter end. Allow the swarm to attack a few victims, then strike. What do they mean by victims? Do they mean like the squad or do they mean like the people that we're trying to defend? Screw it. Let's go with fight for the bitter end. Arrogance plays a cruel joke on the paralyctor of the Hell Knights as he prepares to fulfill his promise to stand firm. Even as the swarm tears the flesh from our bones, these are precisely the orders he's given his troops. The swarm falls upon them like a raging storm. Hell Knights are better armoured than regular soldiers, and some are even wearing adamantine. Some have vials of acid which can wound and deter the scavers for a time, but the beasts are beyond number, so many that they cannot but find openings in the armour and wriggle their way inside. While one insect is burned with acid, five others circle and strike. A moment later, Regal's troops are, li are a living graveyard, his knights buried under a layer of wriggling and buzzing beasts. The rasping, mumbling and buzzing of the swarm paralyse the soldier's will. Poisonous mandibles cut through armor and bone. The swarm could scour an entire city from the face of Galarian. These modest forces present no obstacle. No matter what strategy the mortals choose, it is impossible to resist the eternal hunger of the abyss. For scavers are its embodiment. No malevolent mind or terrible monster, but a million. Fuck. But a million of half sentient creatures who, do, who know no goal but destruction. An effective weapon for those prepared to trade fertile soil for wasteland. A chance yet remains for the commander to save his people. At least some portion. What would the leader decide? Fuck. Um, it's fine, Flanders. Peasants are made to be cannon fodder. <laughs> My god. My god. Jeez. Oh boy. That went badly, says Trollbe. This is getting dark, says Selby. It is getting incredibly dark. I don't know what we're... The, the music still, like, makes me feel good, though. Like, we're marching forward through the crusade, although I can't help but feel like we had a bad outcome there. Uh, Abyssal. As Nicaea said, everything will be paid in due time. Fuck, that was accurate. Yeah, I know, right? Chat spoke. Ooh, group manager. Current party. Yeah, we're keeping the current party, I think. There's no need to change it up. This is the party that we have for this session. 
Oh my god! Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. I wanna nothing say I wanna say ALXD. But I also wanna say Alex D X. Either way, thank you for becoming a neighborino. Welcome to the party. Um and Evia, what are you doing here? Spots of light and shadow dance among the walls of the canyon. High above your head, a swarm gathers, dark as a rain cloud. There are so many of the that they block out the sun. Luckily, you've escaped the attention of the swarm, which is focused upon the troops you're using as bait, for now at least. Jesus Christ. Right, um, let me see what's happening in chat. Hey, I'm only Australian, but I can only do my best. Plus shows how much I care for the peasants that I didn't even spell it properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your intention was pure, uh, dubs. Right, guys. This seems pretty fucking important, okay? This seems like a big deal in the game. Um, I need the bathroom. I need to l relieve my bladder, okay? My bladder is burning with the desire to urinate. So, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna take a two-minute break. Do that. Come back. And then I'm gonna deal with this, okay? So, I will see you guys very, very soon. Until then, goodbye for now. Okay, and I'm back. Let's get some game audio back, right? Oh boy. That is much better. Right, so, um, what did I miss in chat, guys? What did I miss in chat? Um, so is Redl fucked, or... I mean, I have absolutely no idea. I think it's probably gonna depend on how quick we can kill the Queen. I believe Regal got ganked with all the Hell Knights. Um... Trashroff just wants me to fight me for no reason. Nicaea says, All will be paid in due time. Karma is a cruel mistress, isn't she? I think Sarah gets the last laugh here, right? Um. <laughs> I'm sure he has completely unjustified reasons. After all, every stunty has a Napoleon complex. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so. Spots of light and shadow dance along the walls of the canyon. 
Oh no, sorry, we're through this bit. Right, so what's next? With a tired gesture, Anevia wipes the sweat and dust from her forehead. There's an anxiety in her eyes. Commander, the beast we've come for is on the other side of the end of the the other end of the main corridor. There's a lot of burrows and plenty of beasts in them, but you better not delve too deep. Our people won't hold out for long. Long enough for us to clear the whole area. Right, so it's on the end of the main corridor. Unless they're a woman. Because, you know, short women are cute. <laughs> Sarah spiked the last meal with Xanax so they all die. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so... End of the main corridor. This is where Flanders shows that he has no idea and no sense of direction. On the other hand, I saw the bodies of some poor caravanners down one of the side holes. They might have valuable stuff on them. The bugs will eat anything we don't grab. They can't tell the difference between flesh and steel. Did you manage to find out where the beast came from? I feel like we're wasting time here, but still. I'm not sure, but there are clear signs of a ritual closer to the Queen Bug's lair. Oh, fuck. Someone, someone did summon these. And they're fresh. Maybe somebody summoned the scum specifically for us. The demon Phil figured out that we're never going to get let Canabras go. Too bad we don't have a magic specialist who could figure out what those runes mean. Wait, do we not? Can you tell me anything useful about the monster? I've never fought these before, so I don't know much. She's a nasty beast. She spits acid and summons her spawn from all around the area. One more thing. When I tried to get closer, I started feeling sick as a dog. I guess, like a lot of demons, she knows how to get inside your head. Oh, jeez, really? So we're going to have to deal with possible sickness. Um, what do you call it? Sickness debuffs? Uh, good luck. I'm right behind you covering your back. I'll catch up when it's time to deal with the queen. Fuck. Um, let me see. I mean, you can both be cute and have a Napoleon complex. <laughs> oh, Dub said we're cute. Oh. Um, Abyssal says, I, I'm going to sign off for the night. Good night, Flanders. See ya. Abyssal, same as usual. Thank you very much for coming along. I'm glad that you're enjoying the series so far. Um, until next time, keep on keeping on. Stay safe and rest well. Goodbye for now, Abyssal. Uh, makes it even cuter, like an angry little chipmunk. Yeah, bet he's, bet he's like five foot three and I'm like six foot five. So, yeah. <laughs> like I said before, there's, a, there's over a foot difference. Um, okay, so we end the dialogue here. When I end this dialogue, is it going to be time from then? I feel like I'm basically the mountain and Betty is like... Who's a short Game of Thrones character? My mind's drawing blank. Short Game of Thrones characters, guy, guys, guy. <laughs> addressing you as addressing chat as one as one singular mass. <laughs> hey, guy, who's a game of who's a short Game of a Tyrion? That's a good point. <laughs> Tyrion is definitely a short Game of Thrones character. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as Tyrion. I also really don't like the idea of Tyrion and the Mountain being in a relationship. That sounds like a really bad 80s sitcom. Attack. Be careful, everyone. I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. Hey, I'm not your buddy, guy. Oh boy. Right, so it's at the end of the main corridor. Is that the main corridor, or is that the main corridor? Cover me. This does not look like the main corridor. This looks like a place for loot. We don't want loot. Run, 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 run. Oh, fuck. The Scabber Loyal Guard? Are these guys going to be tough to deal with? No, not actually, actually not so much at all. Fuck, Irel. Please, save yourself. For the love of God. Not actually difficult to deal with. I thought this was going to be a lot, a lot harder than it is. Um... Dub says, I'm six foot five. Yeah, like, same height as me. So I'm with you. Well, I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. <laughs> uh, I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. <laughs> then rinse and repeat. That joke's been, like, used in so many different shows over the years. 196 centimeters, boys. I don't know what exactly I am. I don't know exactly what I am. 
Something tells me that it's it's somewhere between 194 and 198. <laughs> Roughly. I'm drawn towards 198, but I'm probably wrong. I can and will fight anyone. I can I can support her in this. I know uh, I know it is a fact. Oh, what's this? Oh. The bottom of the canyon is split by a narrow crevice, uh, about one stride across is its widest. It's easy enough to jump over or in places even step across. The obstacle doesn't seem a problem or even particularly notable, but as you draw closer you hear a terrible droning sound coming from the crevice. It seems to be howling as if it's alive. Well, that sounds like a person, not a howling. That sounds like just someone in pain. Um, yeah, easy, easy success. You stare into the darkness of the void, trying to figure out where the strange sound is coming from. Not all at once, but your eyes pick out the contours of a body in the darkness. Someone small, perhaps a gnome, a halfling, or a child. Oh wait, could it be Regal? Uh, rolled up in a ball at the bottom of the chasm. Uh, under a stone ledge. He's crouched down, his head, his head to his knees, and he's hugging his legs tightly. It appears to be one of the caravanners caught by the swarm. Oh, never mind. It's not Regal. He's crying aloud, one continuous tone, and it strengthens as it echoes through the co uh, through the crevice, building into something truly haunting. Samira, can you save this man from the crevice? Are you going to be able to do this, do you think? Um, Dub says, hey, I enjoy a good scrap, as long as you don't get upset when I put you on the backpack hook and giggle at your tangling, flailing feet. Oh my god. I need a backpack hook now. Dunno, am I getting paid for it? In a way, yes. And you did. Uh, not without effort. You managed to clamber down to the bottom of your crevice. You guys all get paid in the sense that Flanders, Flanders, Pappy Flanders buys you all nice things to wear and, and wield. <laughs> uh, plus loot. Also loot. Um... You manage to clamber down to the bottom of the crevice, tie the halfling with a rope and pull him up. He doesn't resist, but he's little help either, dangling helplessly like a puppet. The Viscavas inhabiting his eye sockets, oh fuck, seem to have eaten their fill, and you easily pull them out and crush them. Ugh. The victim sits on the ground and continues to cry as the sound begins attracting unwanted attention. You hear the humming of disturbed vis Viscavas above. A mass of them separates from the main swarm and flies towards you. Fuck. None shall escape. Fuck. Do not Come on, Irel, you can do this. I say Irel because I specifically know Irel is a big old damage dealer. Um, but where would I put my backpacks? I feel like I'm getting scammed. No, you don't need a backpack hook. We don't need to do that. Yeah, let's get a backpack hook. Yeah, we'll get a backpack up. We'll get a backpack hook and we'll get you some special dungarees and they can be called your I misbehaved dungarees. And whenever, and whenever you try to fight someone, you have to put your dungarees on, and you have to be hung from your dungarees on the backpack hook. The backpack hook of shame. It's like the cone of shame from, um, up. <laughs> um, but where would I put my backpacks? Pull the man up, Samara. Samira. You'll get rewarded, Samira. <laughs> heal the poor lad. I'll heal you and come back for you later. You're another strain from overhead, leaning precariously over the edge of the, uh, the crevice. One of the... One of Regal's men, not my men, one of Regal's men falls to the bottom and dies upon the rocks. The other soldiers, now serving as bait, are up there desperately fighting for their lives and yours. Well, that's okay, because it's Regal's men, it's the Hell Knights, and I do not really care too much. Oh, fuck, is that the Queen? Uh, oh. For some reason, I thought we were going to have to go into a cave to fight her. Or, like, into a pit. Um... Yeah. So. No cleric, guys. No cleric. So we've gone full DPS slash tank. Um. Full, well, no. Full DPS. Some tank. And, uh. And the useless. The useless drivel that is Flanders. Yeah. Oh god, Samira's gone down. There we go. Back up. Uh, you did good, Samira. Here's five shekels. I don't like that you're misusing my love of dungarees. <laughs> uh, Trollboy says, what he means 
is he says Zarel because she's the main character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like tr uh, Trilbe. Trilbe is literally like, you know, paid for, 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 for that character to become the main character. Um, let me see. God, I want some dungarees now. Oh God, it's just turning into a dungaree love stream. Uh, so since she's the queen, does that mean she's on Geordie Shore? Oh my God. No, never, never. I have too many pairs of dungarees. I have none. I've never owned a pair of dungarees, I don't think. Dungarees are fantastic, says Bay. Yeah, I've never owned a pair. Um, I feel like I'd look too much like, uh, like something from, uh, what's the movie called? Well, it's not a movie, is it? Um, where he pets the puppy too hard. You know? That one. I feel like I'd look too much like something from, from that. Like Lenny from that. Mice and Men, is it? <laughs> Unleashing her last shriek, the Swarm Queen slumps to the ground. Immediately, as if by magic, the distant sounds of battle begin to subside. Several small beasts sit on their mother's body, sinking their mandibles into it. The canyon drowns in the waves of scent, a sweet, soporific, with a hint of bite, like, a, like the crackle in the air before a storm. Ooh. And Evia approaches the Swarm Queen's body. Her face clearly expresses a desire to kick the dead beast, but she refrains. Just a brainless bug, and so many of our people died because of her. Just yesterday I was sitting by the fire with some of the people the swarm devoured. You were sitting with the Hell Knights? Ugh. Suddenly Anevia stops. Her nostrils flare and her eyes scan the floor and the walls of the canyon. She squats, pokes at some lumps of slimy substance, lifts some up to look more closely, smells them and cringes. Perception check passed. You smell it too, right? A suspiciously familiar stink. Ooh. If you've ever seen Letter Kenny, I get called Squirrely Dan. I have no idea what that is. Um, no, I haven't. I haven't seen it. Uh, Letter Kenny, Squirrely Dan. Oh, Green Mile. <laughs> they're cuter when they're when when they're on girls, off girls. Oh, off girls, off the girls, giggity. Um, but then, but then they can see my hand. Then they can see my thunder pants. I've even got dungarees with a butt flap. Wow, that's pre that's preparation. For you, Betty, and then thunderpants.co.uk. What the hell is thunderpants.co.uk? Uh, let's see if we can find the source of that smell among my equipment. You and Anevia search for your things and quickly find the source of the smell. A thin handkerchief? Looks like it's been soaked in something that's like the Swarm Queen's slime. What? Well, I'll be damned. When the Queen was spraying this sweet smelling poop, oh, sorry, goop. When she was when she was spraying this sweet smelling poop around, the swarm flew to the flies like to jam like flies to jam. The chewed up bodies of the caravan smelled like this too, I checked. Commander, I think some rat planted that handkerchief on you to ensure that the Viscavas would find you. The demons did this, they have placed this swarm in our way. No, no, it looks like I have enemies in Mendev and someone has decided to get rid of me. True, nobody likes upstarts. If you knew what Irabeth's allies hissed behind her back when she was appointed head of the Evil Watch, she spits. Did Anevia just call Flanders smelly? I mean, if she did, I'm not gonna try and argue with her. Uh, Dub says, oh my god, Flanders, it's a, it's a Canadian comedy show and it's fucking hilarious. Letter Kenny? No, I've not heard of it. I'll look it up after the stream. Let me, um... Ah, uh, shit. Dubs, could you, uh, could you make a, like, could you just put in, like, Neighborino Central on the Discord or something? Like, could you just put Letter Kenny, watch this shit? Or something like that? Um. This sounds like an um, Amogus moment? Amogus? What's Amogus? Is that, is that, is that, is that a streamer? <laughs> I am so clueless. Um. Anyway, we need to keep our eyes open. That handkerchief could have been planted here by magic. But take... Take it from a professional paranoiac. I think we've got a rat in our camp. Oh shit! In Canabras, we squashed the cultists time and time again, but they were like maggots in a dead hog. Some could have infiltrated our forces too. We have to keep our eyes open and our guard up. Oh damn. It's time we got back to our people. I say we destroy the queen's body. I've heard the little bugs who eat the flesh of their mother can be reborn as swarm queens themselves. Oh fuck, that sounds like a nightmare. That's kind of the last thing we need, right? Um burn the body but gather as much of the queen no no we do not want to try and weaponize that shit fine anevia get rid of the beast's body great cleaning up after a fight is just what i like we'll start here and little by little we'll clean up the entire world wound. that's the thing that's the way to think about it anevia oh samira's cat went off to help clean the body up 
keep it, feed it to the Hell Knights. <laughs> oh, who's this? Hello, little one. Enevia, Commander, what a relief, you're alive! I saw the swarm begin to fin and ran to you immediately. She pauses to catch her breath. It's Nura. Regal approaches and salutes Bru- Ah, oh, fuck, you're still alive! How much shit do we have to throw at you to kill you? Showing no sign of annoyance or irritation. The distraction maneuver was performed as planned. Our losses were significant. My tactics turned out to be less than optimal. Well, I'm glad that's over, right? And then I high five whoever's next to me. What happened up there can't be described in words, but you were the only one who carried the day, Flanders. <laughs> she said I carried the day. Thanks. Uh, luckily, our losses are not as great as we feared. Not many are even wounded. Oh, fuck, really? We saved loads of people then. Great. But if you'd been a moment later, I'm afraid to imagine what might have happened to us. Unfortunately, the insect's acid ruined what was left of the caravan. Of course, I sympathize for those who perished, but we could have used their, their gear. Well, the army is more important than the gear. How did this caravan even come to be here? This is no place for civilians. They lost their lives for nothing, and they didn't even leave anything but... Dubs, thank you very, very much for resubscribing two months on the trot. Thank you very, very much, Dubs. I appreciate that greatly. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What's that, what's that, what's that on today now? Like, um, so Dubs has been, first of all, Dubs has been very generous by gifting out, um, gifting out, I think it was five, five community gift subs early on in the stream. We've been raided by Faye today, Faye Hunter. Be sure to check him out, guys. Uh, he streams earlier than me. Hence why I never get the chance to raid him. But uh, he streams earlier than me. You should definitely check him out. He's an Australian streamer. He plays games that are similar to the ones that I play. I think at the minute he's playing Grounded, right? Right, Dubs? Um, so a little bit of a survival game. But yeah, definitely check him out. Give him some love. Because I'm certainly not able to uh, to give adequate support. Um, of course, thank you to Tavern Crawler for the raid as well. Uh, 13 people came along from there. Absolutely wonderful of you. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, you guys have been very, very generous again. It feels like, it feels like I say this every stream at this point, but you guys are incredibly generous and yeah, you make it so, not that it's not worthwhile to start with, but you make it so much more worthwhile when, uh, when, 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 uh, you know, do, uh, subscriptions and, and bits and things like that come in. It does make me feel... It, make, it makes me feel kind of... Ugh. I'm no good at talking about that. I'm no good at, I'm no good at like, showing gratitude, I don't think. Or at least, I'm no good at... Receiving stuff. I think that's maybe the best way to phrase it. I'm no good at... I'm no good at receiving. When I receive stuff, I get all, like, clammy. And, like, I well up a bit. Um, Trillbay says... Wait. Wait, actually, I've missed something, I think. Um... So Thunder Pants are adorable, and you shouldn't be ashamed if people see them. Do I need to tab out and look at... Let me have a look. What are Thunder Pants? What, what are these? Are they just underwear? Am I just looking at underwear on stream now? Oh, they're just very stylish underwear. Or at least, like, with, like, cool little patterns and stuff on. Okay, I'm not going to look at underwear on stream anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. Sangri <laughs> sacrificed. I think I just tried to combine fl my name as well as the word sacrificed. Um, Trollbay says, Flanders just sacrificed loot for people's lives. This is character growth. This is not character growth. This is personal growth. I, me, me. I just gave up loot for people to live. Boy, oh boy. Um, also, fuck you, Streamlabs, you're a bitch, and we'll, <laughs> we'll fight you. We're both playing Grounded, uh, and I'm his co-pilot at the minute. Fanders will have to do a PSA asking us to stop soon. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Fanders. I was I was talking to my BF about how little the streamer actually gets from Twitch stuff. Like, it's literally half of what people pay for subs and bits. 50%. Yeah, yeah, it is 50% of, like, Twitch, take, Twitch takes the rest. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I mean, I suppose it sucks in a way, but that's just like the way the platform works, right? You know? Like, I have thought in the past, because people have raised the question of like, you know, 
Like obviously earlier earlier on, people were saying about like a donations page and stuff like that. And I, I understand why, because I think people would rather people would rather either buy equipment for me to stream with or donate directly to me, because because it's like then the streamer, then the content creator gets all of the money rather than just like fifty percent. Um, the 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 thing that I've had with like setting up a donations page and with like accepting money in that capacity is that. The way to do it is to go through PayPal. But the issue is that even with a PayPal business account, apparently they still give your address and your full name to people who donate to you. So it's like, you know, as much as there are people in the community that I do trust, there's obviously like, when, you, when you're streaming on a platform like Twitch, when you're streaming on the internet, when you're doing anything on the internet, there can be God knows how many, how many people out there that are viewing your content and could use your personal information against you. I mean, we all know this. So I'm a little bit hesitant to set up, well, I'm in, well, I'm totally hesitant to set up like a donations page where I could receive all of the money that you guys want to send because of the, purely because of the fact that I wouldn't want my personal information to be out there. You know what I mean? Um, and Twitch has the audacity to put loads of ads in now. Yeah, so for instance, the ads... The way that ads work is that I have to, like, I schedule ads in my stream um, and I can also start them preemptively to try and, like, do it when there's a bit of a lull moment so you guys don't miss out on anything. But the way that ads work is that if I run ads for everyone, but subscribers don't have to watch them mind, uh, if I run ads, then it means that when people first join the stream, they don't have to watch ads, or at least for a little while. So if I run, like, a two, two minutes of ads at the start of the stream, I think that gets me, like, it gets me like, let's say between 30 minutes and an hour of stream time where when people join the stream, they aren't forced to watch an ad when they come into the channel, which I think is good. Because nothing puts you off watching a new content creator more than when you click on a video, you click on a stream, and you're immediately hit with an ad. And you're like, okay, well, I'll just go and watch someone else, you know? So basically, it lowers discoverability. So that's why I run like two minutes of ads at the start of the stream to help with that. Um... Direct donations on Amazon wishlist stuff is way better. I wouldn't mind if Twitch got like 5%. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> hey, Flanders, make a wishlist and let us spoil you. Just shut up and take our love. Oh, never trust me or Trashworth. We would send you nothing but... <laughs> nothing but glitter. Don't leave yourself open to get doxxed. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like, that's the reason that I, um, I haven't set up a donations page and I haven't set up like a uh, Streamlabs donation thing with PayPal because that would allow my personal information to get out there. And as it stands at the minute, I think I've been pretty good with personal information. You know, there's so much that I'm willing to say, but obviously, I'm not gonna give people my address. You crazy? <laughs> um, so, I couldn't let my people die while I was looting the corpses and the, that the bugs left behind. I mean, yeah, that's exactly it. I couldn't let my people die while I was looting corpses that bugs are left behind. This is character growth. This is personal growth. What matters is that everything's over and we won. What are you going to do now? I'm going to have a pint, I think. Um, and dungarees for Betty. <laughs> Since you're here, please take a look around. I found some painted runes and the traces of something that seemed like a ritual. We need to figure out what this is. Indeed we do. I don't like how we were talking about how someone must have it out for me. And how these runes are very suspicious. And then, and then she shows up. Mm, maybe I'm just being too, like, on my tiptoes, too cautious. But I, 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 I don't know. I got a bad feeling about her. With all the pocket glitter, it's like pocket sand, but more fancy. <laughs> Nura says, ha, easily done. She leans over the magic symbols painted on the stone. I'm no mage, unfortunately, but I'm in the habit of thoroughly documenting all descriptions of rituals and symbols from magic books, especially demonic ones. Someone very recently opened a portal to the abyss here. What? And summons someone. It's not difficult to figure out who they summon. She's lying dead right there. I can guess who carried out the ritual. Handwriting is unique, even when it comes to runes. I examined the Grey Garrison after your success, documenting everything I found for Queen Golfrey, and I'm sure that the hand that drew the rune circles was the same in both instances. 
Excuse me, that was a hiccup. It's the work of the same spellcaster. Clever. To set a trap and exhaust us instead of fighting us openly. It looks like the spellcaster is afraid of us and dares. Yeah, no, it's, it is clever. It is clever. It's obvious you can't trust the knife ears. Um, it says you can pay a fee to upgrade your PayPal business account so it doesn't show you... Oh, jeez, really? You have to pay... Why is, like... Why is... That feels like PayPal is kind of saying, unless you want us to release your personal information, you've got to pay us. That feels like blackmail. Can't see how much it costs, though. That's... Ugh. 30, 30 pounds a month, or 30 dollars a month. I'm assuming 30 Australian dollars. So 30 Australian dollars a month to have a PayPal account that doesn't release my personal information to everyone who goes on there. Otherwise, everyone can access my personal information. So $30, that's the equivalent of basically like £22. So £22 a month. Oh god, this is turning into a very honest, like, I don't know. You got you guys, you guys, you guys brought us here. Uh, but this is turning into a very honest, like, description, talk through of the, of the thought process that is receiving money from, for streaming. Um, so let's say £22 a month. No, actually, let's leave it at dollars because Twitch works in dollars. So $30 a month. $30 a month for a PayPal... To upgrade a PayPal business account so your personal details aren't um, shared with everyone that goes on there. However, bear in mind that in order to pay that $30, you would have to earn, for instance, on Twitch subscribers, you would have to have... Um, so 10 would be 25... So like 12, 12 of your subscriptions, 12 of your subscriptions in a month, which for me, we're on 38 subscribers this month. So that is the equivalent of basically, it's, it's like a third of your revenue. A third of your subscriber revenue would have to go towards preventing people from, <laughs> from uh, seeing your personal information. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's better than 50% from the, the Twitch take, right? I don't know. I don't even know if I should be talking about this stuff. I think that, uh, I think that the bullshit of it is that like, you're kind of obligated, like there's a very hush hush sort of nature of, um, of discussing payments from, from streaming services, you know, or streaming platforms like Twitch. It's very hush hush. And I think that is basically to highlight to you guys that, uh, or to try and show you guys, or sorry, to try and hide from you guys uh, what exactly um, happens in terms of like the money that you want to spend on streamers and content creators that you want to support. So yeah, uh, it, it, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't right, and it doesn't work one hundred percent well. But it's like it's what we've got, you know. Uh, we overcome the next one too. We need to keep forging ahead. Well, since we finish off the swarm, we and we know someone is giving us trouble. I suggest we get out of here. I'm done with bugs. Me too, and everyone. Me too. <laughs> 